So it's been known for quite a while now that there's a lot of AI bots online. People who, they may seem like people to some degree, but they're not actually people at all. They're all just AI bots that interact and communicate online to make the internet seem a lot more, I guess, larger than it actually is, or to steer some certain narrative in a certain direction. So I've been aware of this sort of thing for many, many years now. This, you know, it's called dead internet theory, where all of the human beings are just replaced by AI bots online, essentially. And I've just noticed like increasingly more over even just this year. And I'm wondering if you have noticed the same thing. And by you, I, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about the AI bots. I'm talking about the actual real human beings. It's very hard now to discern who actually is real and who isn't. Hmm. It's very interesting. There have been plenty of people that I've seen just, you know, comment over the years or or say something. And I'll, it's like some of them just kind of come in groups, say all a very similar message to try to steer a narrative in a certain direction. Or they say something that counteracts what my viewpoint is to try to make me think differently and there's usually a bunch of them so they usually all come in a group to try to make me change my mind about something usually they have no profile picture they have no information about themselves I'll look at their profile some of them even created it that day so we're talking about just some random person finds the video and they decide I'm gonna create my account today and comment on this person's video sure that can happen but when you when you've seen it so many times you begin to think okay something doesn't quite make sense here hmm i think especially let me just say this i've just received a lot of comments recently and i think most of them are just these ai bots because again you look at the profiles there's nothing there it's it it is devoid of anything they just recently created their their, a lot of them just recently created their, their profile or something along those lines and it's like a lot of other weird things. It's like, so you, you mean to tell me that there's just like a huge influx of people suddenly saying all the same stuff, very similar things, and it's all or, or organic human beings. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. And it's really interesting as well because I'm sure maybe, maybe you're aware or maybe you're not aware of this, but, you know, Meta, Facebook, has, in, you know, injected a bunch of AI fake uh, profiles onto their plat platform what would be the reason behind that you have these ai bots that are going to be interacting with your posts that are going to be liking it commenting on it and they start commenting and talking with each other to make it look like it's more engagement even though there's really no one there it's interesting then you start having conversations with them you start talking and you realize it's not actually a human being you're talking to a to a bot How fascinating is that? So it makes you it makes you think. How many people are actually on these platforms using these sites? Actual people. I don't think it's as much as what we may think that it is. It's crazy. But I just I just wanted to, t- to talk about it because I've just noticed it just this year, just kind of ramp up. And you can find it on all platforms. Okay, it's not just like YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or whatever. You can find it on pretty much any platform. And this has been an ongoing thing for many, many years. And these platforms don't try to stop it because to them, it looks like the site is more engaging than it actually is. You know, like if I post a video, which most most of my videos, I'll post a video, barely anyone watches it, barely any comments, if any comments on it from actual people. And then, you know, maybe a few days later, tons of AI bots just come and like spam the uh, comment section with all the same stuff. And I'm like, Huh. Interesting. Where do these people come from? How do they find the video? Are they looking at it from, you know, what does have to say? Because if this video, if there's a lot of people who come to this video and by people, we mean these AI bots, we'll see if people will try to debunk what I have to say, because that's usually what these AI bots do. They will come in, they will some uh, provoke, uh, provide some sort of counter argument in some sort of way to get an engagement going to get some sort of conversation going 
or to steer a narrative in a different direction. That's, that's usually what this is all about. So if you talk about something, then really the only things that could happen is either your content gets fully suppressed, which, you know, mine has been, you know, suppressed so much over over the years. I've certainly seen I've certainly seen it with the analytics. It's it's very interesting. Not so much on this channel, but I guess it also affects this one. But but my you know other other one as well. I just you can see it. It's like growth, 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 and then like overnight nothing. And it's like, huh? I wonder what changed during during that time. What did I post? What did I say? What sort of algorithmic changes went into effect? <laughs> you know, so I'm like, hmm, it's fascinating. It really is. So if you say things that are kind of against what the main narrative is, you may get a lot of people, people, AI bots, debunking you, saying things that are opposite of what you believe so that if someone comes in and looks at, at your video and they read all the comments opposing you, they're like, oh, the person who made this video is wrong. We shouldn't be listening to them. Instead, we should listen to the to the the uh, fringe majority <laughs> um, who are commenting, not knowing that all those people are AI bots and they're all saying the same thing because that's how they're programmed to be. Mind you, I I would say that, that this even extends to actual people as well. So if we look at actual people, people are, are programmed as as well. People are programmed by the news media that they consume or whatever other information that they consume so that I have known people and I've, I've had to like, you know, I just, I've had to stop being friends with certain people who just, it's almost as if they're like a talking mainstream media figurehead. It's like you hear whatever it is on the mainstream net, Main, mainstream media it's repeated on this station it's repeated on this station it's repeated on this station and then you hear from people the exact same quotes the exact same phrases and it's like you're not a real person you are a fake person you're a fake human being who is programmed by whatever you're watching you know I just I don't know I've just I've never been one to actually be like that I've always thought for myself and I think that is what defines a real human being. So if a lot of these bots online are, are these fake bots and everything, some of them could be people, but they are still AI bots essentially because they, they can't think for themselves. So that was all. Let me know what your thoughts are. And AI bots, please, please comment down below as to why I'm wrong and why the internet is not run by, you know, beasts, machines like you. You're not a beast. I guess a, a human being would, would, would be a beast because we are organic material. A machine is not a beast, <laughs> you know? It is uh, components and, and code, <laughs> okay? So let me know, AI bots, why am I wrong? Why am I wrong about, you know, the, the, the internet being run by AI bots and that it's actual real human beings who are commenting? Why am I wrong? Hmm, I don't know. Let me uh, know.